gentlemen, boys, girls, Republicans, Democrats, dummies, I don't know. It is day 137, Dave's Daily D. You know me, I'm Dave. I got a jacket on today, so the bicep doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I just wanted to put something out today. I don't have anything major. Um, it's the end of the month for, for sales. I cannot get anything to drop since last Friday, so I'm not going to hang my head. I put everything that I can put into it. It is what it is, but uh, you know, one thing that I'll say is that just like kind of what I brushed on a little bit yesterday, just everything is effort. Everything is passion. You just, you have to try, and, and that's who I am. I want to be successful. I want to make a difference. And that was one of the big things that I talked about yesterday was just besides me wanting to be successful, me wanting to make a difference. It's not just because I want results. I don't want, it's not about making tons of money from what I'm doing here. It's not about fame. It's truly about what I am getting out of it right now. And that's many times I put a video out and I'll get a message. Sometimes I'll get a comment. And sometimes it's not even the same day. It might be a week. It might be two weeks later. Um, somebody will reach out to me and they'll say, you know what? I, I watched one of your videos and I really enjoyed it. Or, hey, this really helped me through this funk today. Um, guys, there's, there's an, a lot of issues in our world and our society, especially uh, under our noses in America. And uh, obviously we have a lot of things going on. And, and as you can see right now, I put a post out this morning. Um, was it this morning? I, it was either this morning or last night. It might have been last night. The post basically said, I, I don't care who you vote for. I don't care what you believe in. That is, that is your decision. I can't tell you who you should vote for. I can't tell you what team that you should like in sports. I can't tell you what flavor of drink you like. You are your own person. You make your own decisions. And we're probably going to go down a, a rabbit hole here. But number one, I am never going to hate on somebody, delete somebody, question somebody's who they are based off of just who they voted for. I mean... I'm not so shallow that I'm just going to say, hey, you voted for this person or you endorsed this person, you're a piece of crap. A lot of people can be terrible people, but I'm not just going to assume that somebody is somebody based off of something so silly. I think that's a major issue in our society today, it just, especially after the debate last night. The debate was silly. It was terrible on both ends. It was a lose for everybody. It, it isn't, hey, this person was better, this person... We, as America, we lose. Because it's just, it's a shit show of nothing. So, next point. Social media is such a joke because everybody's on there bickering about the debate, bickering about politics, and then everybody's fighting with each other, deleting each other, hating each other. It's just, let people believe whatever they want to believe in and get back to being loving people it's one love guys it's one love we have one life to live and it can't be being hateful petty short fused people that just chastise and cast people away and write them off because of uh, they don't do a a damn math problem the right way it's okay it doesn't uh, it does not affect your life as so much that somebody likes the color green and you don't agree with it. It's don't be just let go of control and just realize that you have a life to live. You focus and put your energy and passion and all of that on the things that you want, the things that you believe in. And if somebody wants to have a intelligent debate or conversation to see if you guys can have a comment, I mean that's the biggest thing is a common ground, listening and understanding, listening to learn about somebody's culture, listening to learn about somebody's beliefs, listening to learn about why somebody feels the way they feel about something, not listening to throw it in their face, listening to respond negatively, listening to respond, or listening to 
insult them. I mean, that's what our society has become, is listening to twist it and put it back in your face rather than understand, learn, and say, okay, you are entitled to that opinion, you are entitled to that thought process and that decision making. It does not matter to me how somebody else wants to feel or do or this. If, if it does not directly affect me, And I get it, yeah, well, who they vote for, they put somebody else, I don't care. That's kind of what a democracy is about. If there's more votes, then that's the way that things work. But I'm not going to be hateful to somebody because they have a different view or a different point of view than I do. Next point. Life is just, it's so short, and, and I think I'm missing where I wanted to go with this. Um, life is so short and I, I just want yes I found the point here we are back at it um, there's a lot of things going on in our society and as we get older especially in our teenage years our teenage years are so tough because you're coming into this pre-adulthood you're getting a lot of things thrown at you some teenagers more than others some teenagers have to step up for their families, especially in the inner cities. I mean, you see a lot of professional athletes that had to make it to save their families. And there, there are a lot of people that have to grow up a lot faster, a lot sooner than they had hoped or had planned. Um, so to me, there is a very stressful life that we can live especially this year with COVID going on. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people were laid off. A lot of things were going on. And one of the major issues in society that we either overlook or we look down on or we just put down, and I've seen way too much of this in my life, which is a major reason why I make these videos, I've seen a lot of people that are not here anymore because they didn't want to go on anymore. Um, it's not something that I want to see, and it happens. I don't want to say that it's okay or not okay. I just know that if I can put a video out that can give somebody a little bit of hope, if I can put a video out to give somebody some knowledge, some confidence, some momentum, to see that, hey, even me who has struggled, who has had dark times, me who is going through some of the things that I've went through or, ha or are going through, any of that stuff. Um, I wake up, I still put on my pants one leg at a time. I still wake up and I push. I still wake up and I try. I'm not going to give up. And that is what I hope I can do with some of these videos is give people hope. And also make a difference to, one, not only succeed myself, but help others succeed. Help others know and believe that they matter and that they can succeed. We can all succeed if we try, if we put our hearts and our minds and our effort towards the right things, we can all succeed. And that's why I take time out of my day, almost every day, to put something out here. Um, some people may think it's silly. I mean, I'm just sitting here talking to a camera talking to my cell phone, and I find it productive because a lot of people, I don't want to say a lot of people, there are people that wait for my videos to come out, and they watch them. Um, the, the videos are getting consistent views, they're they're growing, it's, it's becoming something more, and that's why I do it, because there are people who are looking forward to me putting out some sort of content, and hopefully it's content they they watch frequently because I come up with content that means something to them that they can apply to their life so that's a big takeaway is that there's a lot going on in life and we have to be better to society we have to be better to our neighbor better to our our peers our co-workers our friends people strangers that we don't even know we gotta stop being so hateful so ugly so mean so quick to insult and degrade somebody because they have a different view than you it's okay. America especially, we are a land of many cultures. I know when I worked at Kalahari and we had a lot of uh, different 
uh, foreigners and classes that would come from different countries at different parts of the year. I learned different walks of life. I learned different cultures. I learned different mindsets. Um, I didn't disagree. I didn't hate. I didn't have any ill will towards anybody because at the end of the day, we all bleed red. We all have to breathe this oxygen and we all have to share this earth. And there's no reason to have hate towards anybody, whether their skin is a, a different pigment, whether we believe in a different God, whether we believe in a God, whether we like the bowl, whether we like sports, whether we like competition, whether we believe in a gender, I, I don't care what it is. We all have to share this earth. And just because somebody believes in something that we don't or we believe in somebody something that somebody else doesn't, it doesn't mean that we have to be hateful and dismissive. We just have to say either I appreciate that you have a different view and respect it or remove yourself from the conversation. It's just it's the old time rule. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. If you can't be polite, then, well, go do your own thing. So with that being said, we have to be better as a society. We have to be more optimistic. We have to be better with each other, with our peers. Um, that'll go a long way. Just watching that debate last night, just to see two grown men on there bickering, arguing, insulting each other. I'm not pointing fingers at who did more or less. It doesn't matter. It's all together. That is our whoever, that is who is going to be the face of our nation, and neither of them looked good to me last night. So where I'm sitting, I have a goal to make a difference in society by being a good person, by having integrity, by having morals, core values, by wanting success for myself, but also trying to help others succeed. I want those things. So... I don't know how to feel about any of that last night, but I know that I am trying to make a difference in a smaller scale, and uh, whatever that was last night ain't it, and a lot of you guys are feeding into it and being hateful to other people, it's not what we need. It's not what we need. I don't know if there needs to be some sort of a uniform figuring out, if there's an independent that we can go with, um, or what direction, there's a lot of research that needs to be done. Um, what direction, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't even think it matters who's in office. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot more out there that we don't know about or don't realize that goes on. And, you know, if you know how the government works and how any of that, I mean, the president's the face of it. They're kind of the, they're the scapegoat. They're the ones that everybody's going to blame. And it's not always that person's fault. They're just a figment or a piece of the machine. So... I don't know. I have a different, intricate mindset towards the value of a president. And I haven't, I mean, I've seen good things, but the media always makes whoever the current president ought to be is negative. There's some negative out of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but I know that at the end of the day, it doesn't have to lie on the president. Us as a society, one us as individuals having values being good people and being there for our neighbors and caring about people is is number one and we go from there so guys thank you for tuning in for day 137 this one went longer than i expected um which is good i'm happy i'm happy with the content within it and uh thank you guys it, it truly means a lot to me with all the people whoever you are um out of the subscribers on youtube out of the people who are in my facebook group who watch these videos consistently, who like, comment, direct message me, anybody who has value in what I'm doing here. I truly appreciate you guys acknowledging and recognizing it and uh, showing the love and continuing to watch. It means it means a lot to me, and uh, I promise to continue doing what I can do to, to be everything that I can be to leave this world a little bit more beautiful than it was when I found it. So with that being said, hopefully everybody has a good rest of their uh, hump day. It is Wednesday, right? And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love y'all.